Irfan is getting very interesting. And this is a, a very welcome uh, respite from our topics the past couple of weeks. We've been talking about the, uh, the uh, peace talks and the lack of peace down south. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, we've, uh, we have uh, received a lot of uh, very colorful uh, uh, reactions from our audience. But I think it's uh, high time that we focus on something positive. And uh, uh, improving trade relations with, uh, with, with uh, a friendly country wherein the businessmen are more or less like-minded is always uh, good news. Yes. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you. Uh, what are the primary uh, exports of uh, Turkey to the Philippines? I know a few, but uh, I want to give you the opportunity to, uh, to mo share. Most welcome. As you know, um, wheat flour right now really dynamic. Even some people is complaining, and I am disagree with them. Uh, the, the dynamic and somewhat controversial because some of, the, you know, local flour is, con uh, is controlled by a so-called... Uh, well, I don't want to use the term cartel, but uh, if you want to use that term, then uh, it's okay with me. No, I respect the business. Of course, as a business should be a little bit competition. But I think you're, uh, you're giving them a run for their money. Uh, I mean, they're reacting and they are resorting to a lot of uh, measures in order to uh, increase the tariff on uh, Turkish flour. But I was talking the other day with DTI uh, Undersecretary uh, Dimagiba. Oh. Victor, I, I don't know. Do you know him, Manila. Victoria Dimagiba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, mm. they have some as a matter of them. fact, he was telling me about uh, certain importations of uh, flour, and it may include Turkish flour. So uh, apparently, you have successfully penetrated the Philippine market with your flour. Actually, uh, before it was really high a year ago, Mm -hmm. And uh, Republic of the Philippines tried to find anti-dumping. But until right now, no any problem. So you're not dumping flour uh, to the Philippines? Actually, it's, it's like that. Uh, as you know, we are trying to be uh, to run global market mm -hmm. good and correct way. Yes. Our all product, even flour, even other EU standards, Mm. EU certification standards. You cannot go, you cannot open in the Turkey a factory if you don't have EU standards. Mm. So how is there is any problem? Is I don't think so any problem. But of course we are respect and we can understand also what trying to do some miller factory in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But but in the business, no need to be sensitive. No need to be just put sensitive yes. because not enough uh, in the Philippines miller flour and not enough uh, to provide for the people's um, wish, people's uh -huh. product. And you know, uh, the staple of Filipinos is rice, but uh, it's, uh, I, I think the, uh, the uh, in percent, uh, percentage terms, the, the demand for bread products and even not bread bread products, but noodles, is uh, steadily going up. So the demand for flour may also shoot up. Yes. Or well, is shooting up noodles, already. Noodles, biscuits, some other items, and pizzas. Okay. I don't know if I, if I remember correctly, but about three or four years ago, there were pretty bad harvests of wheat in, in Canada and I think even in Russia, mm. correct? Mm -hmm. and, uh, four years ago it was. Four yeah. years ago. Mm. And because of your flour, you, you sort of filled uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the gap mm -hmm. between what we produce locally and what we really needed with our then almost 100 million population. Yes, over the 100. So okay. it's, it's like that, Mr. Mr. Uh, Miguel. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter there are product or not. It means wheat. Mm -hmm. If some country, we, we, have, we can find some other country. Mm -hmm. Also, it cannot, uh, if the product not really good, which we are expecting, that al already in um, IT technology company mm -hmm. producing those wheats, mm -hmm. you cannot go away for these standards. So that's always there are wheat in the world if you have factory. Uh -huh. Here only 12 factory, am I correct? Uh -huh. But in my country, 1,732 factory. Of wheat. Uh, wheat of, flour, uh, from flour. wheat flour, yeah, from wheat flour, only from wheat. So it's a big industry in your country. Uh, no, it's actually not big, but we are holding uh, the world market a little bit. And which we are uh, exporting to here, 
total export of the Turkey wheat flour only 5 percentage is nothing. But if business, of course, we have to do all, here, almost 5 yes. percent here. Yeah, only 5 percent, yeah. It is uh, 2,000 container every month. Uh -huh. Every month. Of course, it's good for us, like more or less 100 million dollars, more or less. But, but I don't want to tell some secret through your TV. What we are selling here, double five day adding to our distributor selling to, mm -hmm. to local market. Yes. Even though we are cheaper than all other countries, that's why buyer or importer buying us and good quality. Good Still quality. many black propaganda all around the world in the Philippines, all around the Philippines, but still no any problem. Why are they buying still? Good. I, I've talked to some leaders of local bakery associations. And they, uh, they told me some of them uh, uh, were very upfront about it, but some of them uh, realizing the, uh, the influence of the local flour millers would uh, prefer to say it in secret. But, but the fact is, I'm told that your flour is just about as good as any. I mean, uh, flour is flour. If, it, if, if you get to a certain standard, then uh, it's just as good as the yes, other. Yes, that's, that's as exactly a, As a matter of fact, they say that your flour is actually ideal for pandesal. You know pandesal? I know pandesal. No, we have over the... Hard one, flour. Yeah, 174 yes. different flour. Uh -huh. We don't have any problem about spectrum. We respect, of course, all the miller companies. Mm -hmm. But let me we run with you together, yes. if we have chance. Uh -huh. I am telling to them, mm -hmm. if we are the correct way, if we are following Philippines rule, customs rule, food exchange rule, and uh, so, so I think it's no problem, I think, all around. Also, we are buying many things here. Yesterday, I went um, one um, uh, near the one in Lozon area, one mayor, I visit the one corporation to buy, uh, for example, uh, rice for the, my country. Why not? So you, you... I want to import it. So we export rice to you? Yes, that we are already going deal good. So why not? That's international already, globalism, mm -hmm. market all around the world. Yes. We have to do that. But also, I don't want to focus only because we have many strategic work. We have strategic defense sector. We have energy. As you know, Philippines countries second expenses um, power using. Do you know that in the world? Yes. Second, so very why? expensive. Yes, I it's think really second expensive. only to Japan. So, uh, yeah. Why? Or even more. Why? Not enough. That's why. Yeah. So let's work on it. So I am ready to invest that. Okay. Hydropower, so. solar energy. Or, or already we have three project here, hydropower and solar. But we need more partner. So I, I want to tell through your this camera, I think. So I want to tell through your camera, let's work other many sectors, mm -hmm. uh, industry sectors, energy sectors, mm -hmm. food sectors. And uh, um, uh, I am ready to invest hydropower energy. I am ready to invest uh, the other energy, food. We have many good food, healthy food, standard following which the EU standards. We are ready to provide. You, prov you produce a lot of uh, olives. Olive oils. We are selling Olive here oil. actually, yeah, for container every month. For containers. Yes, every but month. we will expand. We will expand it. We are cheaper and we are good than I believe many other countries. Oh. Also, not good. cheeses, for example, yogurt, for example, milk, for example. Let's move second one. We are the second biggest producer milk product in the world. Mm. Why? Why not? We cannot. You, you mentioned uh, uh, possible investments, possible uh, opportunities in the defense sector, and I, I am uh, an enthusiast of uh, of uh, of guns, of firearms, and I know that uh, there are a lot of Turkish guns that are uh, being sold in the Philippines at relatively uh, well, not cheap. But, but uh, reasonable. Mm. You have brands like, uh, I think, Akar or Sarsilmas. Mm. Uh, doesn't sound like Not your sure. typical European country, so, so you know when it's a Turkish product, but I am, uh, when it's a Turkish firearm. But I am told that uh, quality-wise, it's pretty good. Uh, about the defense sector, yeah. in terms of income, total income, or in terms of total action, we are top third in the world. Top third in the world. Third? Yes. 
We are actually not really selling here. We are selling in all African countries. It's not the gun. It's strategic IT. We Str like this. Strategic, strategic IT. IT. That, that's that, 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 that sounds menacing. Sounds dangerous. No, this like, like city smart, like uh, smart. Uh, do you know? For example, we are working with one uh, famous company here, RFID, uh, Skyven Highway RFID. We are working, for example, with our, with one of the selected so to companies. To protect our uh, our IT infrastructure. Yes, on uh, RFID, I smart ID card, and uh, faster. Do you know, technology giving faster and easiness, am I correct? Mm, yes. And Philippines like call center and IT, am I correct? Mm -hmm. So let's do together. We have many IT sector which we are providing all Europe. Mm -hmm. IT, uh, smart ID card, smart pass card, so you many other things. Do you do a lot of business with, uh, with government? We are doing with local and with government. Okay, so uh, let me ask you this. Uh, we, I've talked to a lot of expats who have expressed some level of discomfort with doing business with, lo with the local government, they say. Not local government, but with government in general. They say it's fickle, it's corrupt, it's uh, laden with red tape, etc., etc. And you have, to, uh, y you have to come across certain government officials in order to uh, have smooth transactions here. So do you feel happy with doing business with... with uh, uh, not only government, but doing business in the Philippines uh, with private, we, we, yeah, with private. But of course, everything is uh, subject to government yeah, scrutiny. Permit something, yeah. Uh, I am really honest in telling that four years I am here, and I really don't like to use driver. I am using always my car, and I am on the way. And I believe I know every corner in the Manila and in the Luzon and many other islands also. Because I so am driving. So you've been everywhere. Yeah. You, you drive yourself. Yes, okay. with my friend. And even one time I did not approach, really sorry, or my police brother, okay? Even anybody don't ask for me money. Even one time. Never? Never and ever. Four years. Every day, every day, every second I am on the way. Today I had five meetings. I just came from my You're car. You're a very also. busy man. Yeah. No, most welcome. So it means, let's move the government side, okay? Under the transparency policy of the Malakanyan, mm -hmm. uh, which the official we are reading everywhere, yeah. actually that's going very well. I am believing it actually. Which we are working with BCDA, with PESA, with DTI, mm -hmm. with many other selected, respectable secretary's office or mayor office. We did not see yet any problem. There are a little bit problem, costumes, but it's not corruption. Just should we change some faster action? It's not corruption, but there are some problem, but we can pass it also. It's well, not. Well, you're probably the first person who's told me that you. Uh, Let that me you finish <laughs> with your permission. <laughs> but there are other problem here. Mm. In my country, if you are going to establish company, either private uh, foreigner and either partnership mm -hmm. or PPP, just yes. only. Only three hours. Oh, Online, yeah. It'll yeah. Take you forever. Only three hours. Here, just starting the three week, maybe three months. Mm -hmm. That's why that's not, fast. not online. Not online. That's why not the faster. With the Department of Trade and Industry and. Uh, Do you know money? What is that? Money is really, really, really uh, incre incredible uh, things. If you have money, you have to encourage people something flexible and faster way. Okay. That's why you have to encourage some government agency faster, uh, some, uh, the, uh, some uh -huh. what is that, some documents. Okay, Irfan.